Hi, everybody. Carl Kasgard reporting to you uh, here for the Halifax 57 Rescue Show. Part of what, what we wanted to do was explain to you all the details of where we're at in September of uh, 2025, uh, all of the uh, parts being rebuilt at the Halifax Rebuild Shop in Arnprior. And uh, here is our coach, our uh, rebuild leader, uh, engineer Scott Knox, and he's going to tell you about all the work they've been doing on our airframe in Arnprior. So Scott, take it away, buddy. Hello, it's uh, Scott from the Rebuild Shop in Armprior, Ontario, Hangar 42. Uh, we're just going to give you a synopsis or an update of what we've been doing over the course of the summer. And last year, we had the center section split into two parts, port and starboard. They were complete, but we hadn't bolted them together. So a couple months ago, we erected the wing, bolted the two sections together. This is the first time that this wing has been together, well, since it was built back in the day. So it's an impressive 30 foot section of, uh, of, uh, of wing. And the center line of the aircraft is right here. And so this section of the wing is where the, the wing passed through the fuselage. So if you were walking from the front of the aircraft to the rear of the, of the aircraft, you'd have to crawl over the front spar walk along the floor and then crawl over the rear spar. Now, when we got these wing parts in Malta, they had been, the wings had been literally cut off of the donor aircraft and they were cut through right about here. So we had to, over the last few years, completely disassemble the wing, build new build uh, ribs, get these spar booms extruded, reconstruct the wing and this is what you have here now. Um, this was a mammoth task. Uh, it, 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 it's taken us thousands and thousands of man hours to get where we're at. Um, later on we'll show you the top of the wing. You can see the, the, the wing skins are all on ready to go. And right now the bottom of the wing is open because that's where the um, internal bomb bays were the wing wing bomb bays so we're not going to cover those up we'll do those at a later date we'll we'll make some some um, bomb door covers uh, later on so in the last few months we've um, been able to find volunteers or they found us in some cases either through social media through friends word of mouth and we also had a um, an open house here at arm prior and that's attracted some visitors and people stepping up and and um, asking if they can help out. We've got five, six volunteers now. Um, a challenge now is uh, finding space. Uh, we can only accommodate so many people and we only have um, you know, a finite amount of tools. So sometimes it's a challenge to get everybody working on a table and having enough tools to keep them busy. But so far, I think we're making it, doing a pretty good job. And, and you can see here, I mean, here's a good example of the, of the volume of production that the guys are able to, to, um, to pump out here. So super pleased. Um, I wish we had more space, wish we had another hangar, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll work with what we have for now. So um, here we are at the trailing edge. Again, a lot of work has gone into this construction. So all of these trailing edge ribs up to this point are all new build. So we had to create hammer forms and we um, bang these out. So they're all new build. All these stiffeners are all new build. And then this is one of the flat pivots. There's the other one there. So these are unique ribs. We had to um, generate two of these from scratch. And so I had, had to build all the jigs and fixtures to build those constructions as well very happy with how this is turning out. We're almost at the point where we can skin these, have a couple more ribs to go in, but we'll be able to start skinning this construction hopefully in a few weeks. And we already have fabricated, this, this is the starboard side, we already have fabricated all of the ribs for the port side. So we'll be ready to go on the port side very soon, as soon as we finish the starboard side. 
So it's coming along. It's coming along. And uh, just to show you over here, the flap, the flap fits into this area here and rotates down. And so we've got HR871 here. We used parts of this original Halifax flap to build all the hammer forms for all the flap ribs. Now there's probably over a hundred parts in both flaps when you put them together. And so we're well underway. We're probably about two thirds of the way done in terms of fabricating the parts. And this is the original flap assembly from HR871. And that's, and that's where the flap goes there. And the flap rotates down something like that for landing. And that rotates back up into that place. So I haven't built the jigs and fixtures for creating or putting together the flaps yet, but this table will become the jig. I'm going to be using these extrusions to build uh, a fixture to hold all the ribs in place while we rivet the, um, the flap together. It's a lot of work, uh, but you know, What's, what keeps us going is that we see um, incremental um, movement, you know. Sometimes when we're working on a, a single part, it, take, it seems like it's taking so long, but then as the parts start to be put, are created and then they're riveted together and you start to get a shape and you start to, starts to look like an airplane wing again, that, that gives us the incentive to keep going. Um, I uh, must admit, during you know different phases of the project, the things it seems like you're not getting anywhere. You spend so much time and effort, but then when you start to see things come together, and what's particularly um, motivating is that when we get visitors come in, and they say, "Wow, this is looking really good," because some of these folks hadn't seen the wing say for a year, and then they come in and they go, "My God, you guys are really making progress." So it, it makes us feel feel much better when we, when we when you know we get outsiders coming in and saying hey good job keep going because sometimes it's tough uh to stay motivated it's just such a mammoth task um so there's the update for our summer activity fall will include skinning of the trailing edge uh, on the starboard side and then we'll start doing the trailing edge for the port side in the coming months now you know, I, this is my, my hangar and, and my time is, is uh, uh, I offer up for free. Um, the hangar is, is bought and paid for, um, but there are overhead charges that we, that we have that are ongoing. And, um, you know, nobody does anything for free these days. And a good example is material. Um, so there's our operating expenses, day-to-day -day operating expenses, hydro, et cetera. And here's a good example. So th these are aluminum rolls of T6, uh, 30 thou that we're going to be using to skin the uh, trailing edge. Right here, this is $700 worth of material. Now, you know, I, I, I try to get the best deal I possibly can, but in the end, um, you can't get T6 aluminum for free. So we're appealing to everybody out there, please, um, in order to keep this going, in, in order to keep our volunteers going, in order to grow, um, potentially grow and get other shops involved. We really need your support. And, uh, and, uh, and to those who have already supported us, thank you so much. Obviously you can see that we're making, we're making good progress. And uh, it's just so important that we don't forget those young men that uh, fought and gave their lives. Uh, and we don't forget the, the Halifax, but most importantly, we don't forget those young men. Take me from the farm, lead me to the runway It won't do much harm anyway I have seen the lights fading in the gunway In a war we've learned to fight for a day For a day 
Sometimes it's so easy just to forget About the men and the women of time While the world rolls around you It's hard to think back to the brink of the end of mankind but Freedom and justice of everything learned Don't leave those memories behind Cause I'm proud of those people and I'm proud of this land And thank God for the veterans of time Sometimes so easy just to forget About the men and the women of time While the world rolls around you It's hard to think back to the brink of the end of mankind Freedom and justice of everything learned Don't leave those memories behind Cause I'm proud of those people and I'm proud of this land And thank God for the veterans of time Cause I'm proud of those people and I'm proud of this land And thank God for the veterans of time Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, another exciting adventure of uh, building up a Halifax bomber for our veterans. And uh, we spent a lot of money this summer uh, doing all of these uh, special arrangements and shipping and purchases to uh, bring a Halifax bomber back to you here in Canada and the aviation world. So just uh, if you can, please support us. Uh, you know where to go to give that donation. And we just hope that you'll follow us and like us. And uh, we will do our best to build up this super rare bomber as a tribute to our Bomber Command veterans. So hope to see you next time. We've got lots more coming down the pipe. And uh, so stick with us and we'll see you again on the Halifax 57 Rescue Show. Bye-bye. Follow along here on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so to be notified when the next video is released.